In this series of videos, we have been discussing about eukaryotic DNA replication. Now, of all these types of DNA replication, we have to deal with the end replication problem, which occurs at the end of DNA strand. And this problem is dealt with another process called the telomerase replication in eukaryotes, which we are going to discuss today. In order to understand the telomerase replication, we see we have a DNA molecule unwounded into replication bubble by helicase enzyme, MCM. On the upper strand, the primer is added, which provides 3-hydroxyl end for the polymerase enzyme and is elongated in the leading strand synthesis. But on the lower strand, having direction 3' prime to 5' prime end, multiple primers are added and the polymerase elongates these primers in the process of lagging strand synthesis, where we get the Okazaki fragments. We have already discussed these processes in detail. Now what happens next is that the helicase moves to the end of DNA strands as shown in the diagram and unwinds the strand or we can say separates these strands like this shown in the diagram. If we draw it out here, we get the DNA strands like this at the end of DNA replication. Here the upper strand is continuously being synthesized as it always provides 3-hydroxyl and 4-polymerase enzyme to add nucleotides. But on the lower strand, again multiple primers are added. Do not get confused here. The primers are added one by one on lagging strand when helicase opens the strand. Now getting to our point. The multiple primers on lagging strand provides these three terminus ends shown in the diagram. Then these primers are elongated in lagging strand synthesis and we get the Okazaki fragments. Now after that, these primers are removed by the action of RNase H or PEN1 enzyme. Since these are ribonucleotides, they need to be removed from DNA and we need to incorporate the oxynucleotides in place of these ribonucleotides. So finally, these primers are removed from lagging strand as well as from leading strand. Now let's focus upon lagging strand because this is where the end replication problem occurs and telomerase has to work upon that. So after primer removal, we get the DNA molecule like this having lagging strand with gaps in between segments. These are primer gaps, which need to be filled by deoxynucleotides. So this gap filling work is done by the DNA polymerase. We know all polymerase enzymes adds nucleotides on 3 terminus end, or you can say hydroxyl end. So here we have these two gaps where the polymerase can work on these 3 hydroxyl ends and synthesize the strand. This work is done by DNA polymerase alpha. Now we have a problem here at the end of lagging strand where we have 5 terminus end and polymerase needs 3 terminus end to synthesize this part. So this last primer removal on lagging strand always ends up with this problem which is fixed by telomerase replication. Remember most of the cells removes the parent strand overhang by PEN1 enzyme thus creating a DNA molecule. But this way we lose some information as this is the part of genome. Due to this at every cycle DNA molecule shortens by this end replication problem and we end up losing important information from DNA molecule and this is the reason of aging also. But some cells in our body have overcome this end replication problem by the presence of telomerase enzyme. The telomerase enzyme has got its own RNA template plus it has polymerase activity 2 with which it can add deoxynucleotides to the 3 terminus end. Here in this case the telomerase works on parent strand only where it elongates the 3 terminus end of DNA parent strand. Let's see how this is done by telomerase enzyme. In this diagram you can see the DNA molecule. It's having a lower parent strand with a sequence of gaunine, thymine, thymine, 4 times gaunine and thymine, thymine repeated several times. This is called the telomer sequences and this particular sequence is from holotrica ciliate. You can see in this chart these are the different telomer sequences of different organisms at the end of parent strand. Prior to this we had RNA primer complementary to this telomer sequence which was removed and now we do not have any 3-hydroxyl end on which deoxynucleotides can be added to complete this end replication. So for this purpose here comes the telomerase enzyme which is a reverse transcriptase enzyme carrying the RNA template. The last two bases of telomerase enzyme pair up with the last two bases of DNA strand and then drives the DNA synthesis 
and then again it pairs off with the terminal two bases and drives further synthesis thereby elongating the parent strand further. This highlighted DNA part as shown in the diagram is the newly synthesized DNA by telomerase enzyme. And to its right we have the actual parent DNA. That is the part of genome. But again we cannot synthesize the upper strand because it's devoid of 3 hydroxyl end. But here the primase comes in and lays down the primer at the end. Thus provides the 3 hydroxyl end. Now polymerase alpha or you can say DNA polymerase alpha comes in and starts adding the oxynucleotides to the 3 terminus end of primer. And by this the upper strand is synthesized. Now again we are back to the same situation. The RNAs H works on the primer and removes it since it is the ribonucleotide sequence. So again we have same daughter strand missing the last few nucleotides. But here now we can remove the parent strand overhang flap because this is junk DNA synthesized by telomerase enzyme. We only need this part of DNA on the right. So FAN1 comes in and cuts down the overhang flap at the end of telomere. So with this we do not cut the DNA of organism, rather we cut the newly synthesized DNA called the telomere. Again I repeat, in the end we can say the telomerase replication saves the tail or end of DNA. You know in the end when primer is removed there will always be overhang flap. So we need to cut that overhang flap at the end of replication. But this is part of genome which cannot be removed as such. So what this telomerase enzyme does is that it elongates the parent strand in such a way so that the overhang that needs to be removed is not the actual DNA. So this is all about end replication problem in eukaryotes and telomerase replication in eukaryotes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and also support my work on Patreon. Thanks.